Welcome to Monday Coffee, your weekly Atlassian news roundup. In this episode, we mention Atlassian looking for feedback on Compass, partner tier updates announced, another feedback request for public links for Confluence. Then we'll look at this week's events roundup. And after that, we'll look at smart values in automation. And we'll close it all off with the article of the week this time from Atlassian's engineering blog, how a non-expert enhanced cloud security with Forge. So stay tuned. We'll bring you all of this right after the intro. We are your hosts, Vera and Nikki from AppFire. This week we have quite a few news to go through. So let's start with the first one, which is the feedback opportunity. Uh, Atlassian team is looking for tech leaders and developers to share insights on using Compass or similar tools. You can participate in one hour video sessions and contribute to Compass development. As a thank you gift, you will receive $100 e-gift card and if you're interested, don't miss this opportunity. There is a link in the community post so you can sign up. E-gift cards, left and right. Yeah, I have another one. Is it still with the e-gift card? Uh, e-gift, 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 e-gift card. Uh, I forgot to look, but yeah, you can check it out in the link. Right, so now partner tier. Atlassian's marketplace partner program has announced its latest cohort of tiered partners, recognizing their commitment to enhanced app security and customer support. Some key movers include Kylor and Dizer advancing to platinum tier and Mitiko and Rev is now silver partners. So congrats to all the movers that achieved new tier partnerships. And um, if you're one of them, make sure to check out this article and partner resource to learn how you can claim your new partner perks. Check them out. And here's another feedback opportunity, this time for a new upcoming feature in Confluence, public links. Atlassian team wants to understand the type of content you would like to share, with whom and how often and much more. You can also suggest new content types for public links as well. If you are using public links in Confluence and you want to help develop this feature and improve it, this is your chance. So have a look at the community post and there is the link to sign up as well. Yes, and check if there's any Giphy cards. <laughs> right, so let's move on to events. Rich week this one for events with Atlassian running a couple of uh, webinars like Zero Trust um, IAM Best Practices webinar on January 31st, Strengthen Security for Businesses Against Evolving Threats. The focus is on scalable identity solutions. And farewell to server webinar happening the next day on February 1st. Learn to craft a server migration plan with live Q&A available on demand post event as well. Really good partner events as well. Today join the AI in service management Austin event. Learn to scale service management with AI at Atlassian's live event by reputable service rocket team. And then tomorrow, Atlassian Intelligence in Service Management. Discover how Atlassian Intelligence enhances service management in this insightful webinar by uh, Together Group. As for ACE events, community leaders are keeping themselves busy with a lot of these this week. Like, for example, ITSM and Asset Management in Boston on January 31st. Gain expert insights on ITSM and asset management, including strategies for enhancing service experiences and evaluating ITSM solutions. And second, unleash Agile and DevOps in Dublin. In the same day, join Atlassian enthusiasts in Dublin for insights on Agile, DevOps and digital transformation from experts like Vladimir Cavalcanti and uh, Ariel Prado. And yeah, a lot of things happening. Check out all of the links. Uh, there you'll find events for you somewhere in the on the planet <laughs> yeah i'm always thinking that you need the hermione clock to actually make it into all those events anyways so i have a new feature announcement here so let's have a look at it confluence automation just uh announced a batch of new smart values for example with a 
inactive pages smart values you can easily find forgotten pages prior content status is there for tracking the previous status of the pages or blocks or task resolver who, which reveals who is getting things done by marking tasks as complete if you have any feedback there is a link in the community posts where you can schedule the time with the atlassian team so this is again another great feedback opportunity this time without the gift card uh, but if you're using automation for confluence definitely worth checking those smart values out and giving feedback to atlassian for smart values we love smart values on monday coffee okay all right let's close it off with the article of the week i found this article interesting and wanted to share it with you here it was produced by one of our friends in the ecosystem boris berenger an atlassian expert veteran he tackled the challenge of enhancing cloud security in response to the Okta hacks uh, vulnerabilities using Atlassian's Forge platform and AI tools. Boris developed a solution that scrubs sensitive data from HAR files, uh, significantly boosting data security. This initiative, driven by a blend of AI assistance and rapid development capabilities of Forge, underscores the importance of proactive security measures in software development, and also that you don't have to have coding master skills to enhance your Atlassian products with bespoke code. So give it a read and start building stuff with Forge assisted by AI. It's, you know, you have absolutely no excuse. If you're an admin in, um, in a conference for an organization, you should be picking up Forge and you should be using AI as well to help you out. Even if you haven't coded much in the past. Yeah, there were some quite nice examples of how to use Forge to enhance uh, Bitbucket on the Unleash community events. I know in Barcelona and in London, so definitely worth checking it out. 100%, right, that's it from us. Thank you for watching Monday Coffee with us. We'll see you next Monday. Links for everything that we've talked about are in the description and uh, have an amazing rest of your week. Bye. See you next week.